and then we're good. All right, guys, welcome to the uh, Queen's Formula <laughs> machining tutorial videos. Uh, today we're going to be doing track lathe operations and how to do cycles. So we're going to go over the basics. We're going to run a basic turn down cycle. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to have our stock loaded inside the, uh, the chuck. Once we have that done, we're going to want to set all of our zeros. So when we're at our home screen here, we're going to click the mode button to get here. If we're not, once we are, we're going to go to DRO. DRO allows us to do manual control of the machine. So by having DRO, we can now use these guys to move it around. So we're going to want to take note of which tool number we're on. So as you guys can see, it says one, two, there's four and three. Uh, so we're going to need to be aware of which tool number we're using. So what we're going to do is we're going to click tool number, tool one. Okay, that's the one we're going to set up. We're going to go add set. Okay, now that we have our tool one set up, what we have to do is we actually have to tell it where it is. So you're going to get your handy pair of calipers here and you're going to want to measure the largest diameter of your stock. Okay, in this case, this is the two points. I'm going to measure that and it's going to be 1.43 in this case. So I'm going to just remember that value, 1.43. What I'm going to then do is I'm going to turn the machine on. I got forward and reverse here, always use forward. I'm going to bring my work, my work tool over to the part. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to continually work it in until it starts to touch the piece. Just very lightly, once it starts to make some chips. Okay, I can see it has some chips there. So I'm gonna come back to the screen. I'm gonna click X. I'm gonna enter in our diameter that we measured. It's gonna be 1.43. Abset is always your enter button. So we're gonna abset that. Now the next stage is to do our Z. Z is in and out, X is diameter. So we're gonna put our part, our cutting part in front, our tool, and we're gonna bring it in until we touch the piece. Okay, just touched. Now we're gonna set our Z zero, okay? So Z, zero, abset, okay? Now our part is zero. It knows where it is, it knows where it is in space. So then that stage is now finished. Now that we've set up our part zero, we have to tell the machine what tool we're actually using. So then we're gonna to come to setup, okay? Setup, we're gonna to go to tool setup, the first option. It's gonna ask us where our input tool is, that's the tool we wanna set up. So we're gonna do one, enter, app set, set new, right hand turn face, okay? So click one, app set, it's a right hand turning cutter. Now your tool is set up, okay? Uh, last thing we're going to do before we start programming is setting up our home position. So the home position is the position that the cutting block goes to when it's done a program or when it starts a program. So if our cutting block is part way into the part, then it's going to cause a tool collision. So what we want to do is we want to bring it to a location such as this where we know that it's not colliding with the part. We're going to go over to setup and we're going to go to set home. Click set home, these values here are the instantaneous X and Z values, and these values down here are the values of the home position. We know that that home position is good, so I'm gonna click X, I'm gonna set it at two and a half. App set, and my Z at 0.6 seems to be good as well, so I'm just gonna go Z, 0.6, app set. Now our home is set, we've done everything we need to at this point to start programming. Before we start programming, we're just going to go edit, and we're going to erase the current program that's on there. Just by clicking Erase Program. Yes? Okay. Now, we're going to click Program, and we're going to choose our part number. So in this case, we're going to call it 123. You've got to use three numerical digits. It can be anything. We could even do 333. Abset. Once we've done that, we want to do a cycle. We're, turning, we're doing a turn down cycle, so we're going to click Cycle. It's going to give us a bunch of information that we need to input. So, side. You have two options. You have outside and you have inside. In a turning down operation, we're going to be doing the outside of the part. So we're going to click one, abset. Now it knows it's outside. Number of passes. This is just what's going to determine your depth cut. So if you're going to go from two inches to one inch, you do 
10 passes, that's 100 thou depth cuts each time. So in this case, we're gonna do five. Our approach, because we're cutting in like this every time, it's gonna be approaching in the Z. So Z is one, so we're entering that in. Feed rate, again, check with the shop guys for whatever feed rate is necessary for the material you're using. I'm gonna use four in this case. Now it's asking us what tool number. As you guys saw before, we were setting up tool number one, so we're gonna be using tool one. Finish cut, finish feed rate, finish tool, those should be pretty obvious, they're the last finishing cut. We're not gonna use those, so we're just gonna put ab set right through them. So now we've given the machine the parameters that we want for our cycling operation. So when we're programming a cycle, we have to remember two things, okay? The machine wants to turn into the part, and then turn out of the part. We're just programming an L shape, okay? So turning in down the Z, turning to out on the X, and then once we get to these two points, we're just doing position operations. So we're positioning it back and then back. So it's gonna be four straight lines that we're programming. So one line this way, one line this way, these are both turns, then a position line and another position line. So we're gonna do our first turning line, okay? It's gonna ask us X begin, Z begin. X begin is essentially the X and Z position that it's gonna start that line at. In this case, the X begin is actually gonna be the final diameter of our part. Right now we have it at 1.43. We're gonna turn it down to one inch, okay? So our X begin is gonna be at one inch in the part. So one inch, ab set. Then it's gonna ask us for a Z begin. You might think you'd wanna use zero in this case, but we don't wanna start right at the part. We wanna start a little bit above, just, just so we don't collide the tool. So in this case, we're just gonna do 0.1, just a hundredth thou out, just to be cautious. Now, X begin and Z begin are our initial points, and then X end and Z end are our final points, so we're just programming a straight line. That's all we're doing. So our X end is gonna stay the same. We're gonna use the same X diameter all the way through, because it's not a taper. So we're just gonna click ink set. Our Z end is gonna be how far we wanna turn the stop. So in this case, we'll do one inch of turning. Now we gotta remember, I'll put in one inch here, but it's a negative one inch, it's going in. So I'm gonna click negative, make it negative one, app set. We're not gonna do a chamfer, so we can just app set that, and tool offset. We're given three options, center, right, and left. In this case, our tool is to the right of the part, so we're gonna use a right offset. In this case, to do right, you click one, app set. So now that's our first turning operation, down the Z, we've finished. We're gonna do one operation outwards for turning, so we're gonna do another turn. In that operation, uh, we're gonna have X end and Z end. So our X end is how far we wanna come out. So in this case, we need to come out larger than the diameter of the part. Our part was 1.43 inches, so we wanna come out past that. So we're gonna go to 1.45, abset. Our Z end hasn't changed, because we're just going this way. So we're just gonna click ink set and then we're gonna skip past chamfer. Now we've done both of our turning operations. All we have to do now is do our final part, our position operations, and then we're finished. So position, where do we want to go, to go back to? Well, it's come in, it's come out, it wants to go straight back. So in this case, our X is not changing. So X stays the same, we're going back to a Z of 0.1, where we started. So 0.1, half set, and then we're gonna go back in. So we're gonna do another position operation. In this case, X is changing. It's gonna go back down to one inch. This is the starting point of our original cycle. And then our Z is not changing. So Z is ink set. At this point, we've done our square, okay? And we're just gonna end cycle. Cycle is complete. All we wanna do now is verify that the cycle's been done right. So we're gonna go to setup. We're gonna draw part and start. It has five lines. It's basically showing us that that is the cycle. That means we're good to go. It should be perfect at this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to run, okay? We're gonna position our coolant nozzle in an appropriate location. We'll turn it on. Okay. Now we're gonna do is click start. Okay, it's gonna track to the home position. We're gonna turn our machine on. And now we're gonna click the button. It's gonna start cutting it. Okay, 
this point, our cycle operation begins.